Hello and welcome to a Lightbox 2 tutorial by Blackbox AV. Today we're going to install and uninstall both the Lightbox 2 manager and viewer software. Before we begin, you will need to have Adobe Air installed. If you haven't done this already, you can visit the link available in the description below. Feel free to pause this and resume once the installation is finished. Now, installing the manager is simple and will only take a few minutes. Firstly, we'll need to go ahead and double click on the manager installer. This will open up an Adobe Airbox asking if you want to continue. We do. Click install. Next, you can choose where to install the Lightbox manager files to and whether to add a desktop icon and start the application after installation. Press continue. A Windows account control window will pop up. Click yes. And your installation of the manager is complete. Now we're going to add some demo content to test both the viewer and manager. You will need to navigate to the settings menu icon on the left. We will only be importing content for now. The rest of the settings menu will be covered in another tutorial. Click yes on the pop-up and navigate to the folder where your demo content is contained. Thankfully, importing the content doesn't take too long. And there we go, we have a library full of demo content and categories to do whatever we want with. Now we will minimize the manager. It is important that you either minimize the manager or leave it open. Otherwise the viewer will not sync with it to display your settings and content. Now we'll begin installing the viewer. The install is similar to the manager, and Adobe Air prompt will pop up asking if you want to install the program. You do, so click install. You can change your preferences again if you wish and the account control window will pop up again. Click yes. The viewer should open automatically unless you choose not to. If it hasn't, open it. You will now be greeted by a setup wizard for the viewer. You want to go ahead and click next. On this screen, you are able to fill in your registration details if you want to activate your version of Lightbox 2. You will need to enter your name, organization, installation site and activation key. Press the activate button once this is complete. If you do not have a license, press try demo to try the demo for free. For this tutorial we will be using a demo copy. If you wish to add a license, you are able to do so at any time. On this screen we are going to enter the viewer name. This is the name that will be displayed in the manager software and will allow you to distinguish between multiple machines with viewers installed on a network. We'll be calling this viewer Kiosk1, but you can name it whatever you want. Now we will be asked to set a viewer passcode. The viewer passcode is used to access the administration section of the viewer, allowing you to alter settings whenever you want. We will be using a passcode that's easy to guess, like 1234. Again, you are able to change this passcode whenever you want. However, you will need to provide the old passcode, so don't forget it. Next, we'll be greeted by the library setup window. There are multiple options here, starting with the option to sync with manager or import archive. Sync with manager is why we need to leave the manager open while using the viewer, and is the much more flexible option. You can also directly import an archive to the viewer, however you won't be able to edit that content using the manager. Below this is the option to input a specific server address to sync your Lightbox viewer with. You will just be using the default settings here, which can be set using the default button. Finally, we are able to clear the library to completely start from fresh. Now we are shown the currently installed version of the viewer and given the option to check for any available updates. Finally, we have the general viewer settings. Here we have the option to have the viewer open on computer startup. There is also a setting for how long the viewer is idle before the attractor is displayed. The input method for the viewer can also be selected with both touch and mouse supported. And lastly, there is an option to both view or export the log files for the viewer. We can now close the wizard. The viewer will begin syncing and preparing the library. 
This will take a little while as it's the first time to load, so we'll skip ahead a little bit. We'll now be greeted with the attractor. Click or touch the screen to continue and you'll see all your demo content displayed in the viewer. Before we move on to the uninstallation section of the tutorial, we'll access the viewer settings by clicking or touching and holding in the bottom left corner of the screen for 5 seconds. This will display the settings screen, asking for the passcode you set during the installation. As you can see, you are able to activate your product if you haven't already. Change the viewer name to whatever you wish. Change your viewer passcode. Alter any of the viewer's backend or network settings. Check for the latest products updates. Or finally change any of the viewer's usability settings. And there we have it, you are now up and running. Now we'll be moving on to the installation of both the manager and viewer. You will need to have closed the viewer, you can do this by pressing Alt and F4. The uninstallation of the programs is extremely simple. You will need to open the start menu and then navigate to the control panel. Once here, you will need to open up Programs and Features. You can also access this by searching for Uninstall a Program on your Start menu. Scroll down to Lightbox Manager. Then simply left click on it, right click and press Uninstall. Do the same for the Lightbox Viewer. However, the uninstall is not completely finished yet. You will need to open up the start menu again. Click in the search box and type percent app data percent and press enter. Now scroll down in the folder to Lightbox Manager. Right click on it and press delete. Do the same for Lightbox Viewer. Now you have successfully removed the Lightbox 2 software. Thank you for watching this tutorial for Lightbox 2 by Blackbox AV. For more tutorials, continue watching or visit our channel.